You see, this is the kind of question which is based on thermodynamic graph. It's a case of comparison. If you try to solve this question with the help of graph, thermodynamic graph, then it is very easy to solve. If you have pressure volume diagram for compression, then you see this is the process for isobaric, this is the process for isothermal, this is the process for adiabatic and this is the process for isochoric. This is the adiabatic process, this is isothermal, this is isobaric and this is isochoric. You understand? Now they are asking you to have the maximum work done. Maximum work done means the maximum area. You see the maximum area is only under this thing because the initial point is fixed half of the volume V by 2. The gas is being compressed to half of its volume. So the initial point is this and final position is this one. So which one has the maximum area? This adiabatic process. Isochoric process has zero area. After this is maximum area lesser than that will be in isothermal compression and lesser than that will be in isobaric compression. So the correct answer for this question will be a diabetic process, second answer. Shift to next question that is 167. Now this is a question which is based on conservation of energy. In this particular question a body has been thrown from top with some initial velocity V0. So the total energy it has that is related to you can say kinetic energy plus potential energy. Initial energy is you can say half mv naught square plus mgh it has. It comes down after collision, in collision it is losing 50 percent of energy. So this initial energy becomes half when it is going back and it is said that it reaches the same height. So that means the finally it is reaching up to the same level. This is the balancing equation you should have. Here uh, you can say m that can be cancelled out if you feel like and uh, v0 you are supposed to calculate. Understand the value of h has been given to be 20 meter. If you calculate v0 that will be coming out to be 20 meter per second with the help of this equation. So the correct answer I will be marking that will be the third one for question 167. Now switch over to next question that is 168. This uh, question 168 it is based on two dimensional elastic collision. Remember that uh, there is a very standard uh, variety of question in which uh, the two masses are identical. In this particular situation remember that the final velocities will always be perpendicular. You see this is the initial velocity of one block which is colliding with another identical body at rest. And always they will be perpendicular on top of that since energy is conserved. So you can always use the equation V square is equal to V1 square plus V2 square. This is a standard result for two dimensional elastic collision and bodies having identical mass. Here they have given you the initial velocity V. V1 has been given as V by 3 as you can see and you are supposed to calculate the value of V2. That simply Pythagoras you can get the answer 2 root 2 V by 3. This is the simple expression you will be having for question 168. Switch over to next question 169. 